Welcome to The Joy of Music. Featuring as hostess, Diane Bick, the first lady of the organ. Praise ye the Lord. Praise him in his sanctuary. Praise him with stringed instruments and organs. Let everything that hath breath praise the Lord. And now, Diane Bish. J.S. Bach, the greatest composer and musician of all time, said this about music. Unless music is composed and performed to the glory of God, it is nothing but a clamoring and a twanging in the ears. My name is Diane Bish, and I will be your hostess on this new and exciting series of television shows called The Joy of Music. On this program, we will feature the greatest musicians of our time whose sole purpose is to glorify God with their music. Through speaking with these musicians and hearing them perform, we want to bring you the very best of wholesome entertainment. We want to build your appreciation for music and the people who make that music. And most of all, we want to bring you spiritual enrichment and inspiration. Naturally, as an organist, I want to share with you the spectacular sights and sounds of a mighty pipe organ, such as the Rafati organ, the largest European-built organ in the United States. I'm going to be playing for you some great old gospel hymns. You'll be hearing other well-known hymns of the church featuring the great golden horizontal trumpets of the organ. And the famous melodies of J.S. Bach Rejoice with the little cymbal stern as it turns on the top of the organ. And most exciting of all, all 7,000 pipes at one time.
Every week I'll have a special guest, artists who are sharing their faith in Christ through the joy of music. How great thou art, how great thou art. You know, I want to ask you about how great thou art. I think uh, besides, I'd rather have Jesus. That's probably that is that is your theme song, and mm -hmm. I, I think that you probably brought that to prominence in this well, country, didn't you? Well, perhaps I had a hat in it. We were now walking. you're being humble, <laughs> I think. Well, uh, 1954, walking along Oxford Street in London, I'm, a gentleman came up I knew, Mr. George Gray, and he says, "Oh, I, I didn't, I didn't give you this song last night at the Crusade. I want to give it to you now." And it was "How Great Thou Art," a little octavo size uh, sheet, and it had. The Russian hieroglyphics, is that the way to put it? Uh -huh. And English, and then of course the melody. And I looked at it and I saw those words in English <laughs> and uh, knew they were beautiful. Uh -huh. And the tune looked simple. And then Cliff received his, Cliff Barrows received his uh -huh. that evening. We got our heads together on it and we decided we wouldn't start singing it. In that crusade, we wait till the next one, which is Toronto, you know. Uh -huh. And then RCA tells me that I did probably the first one to do it on record, that was 1956. Uh -huh. But there are others who've done it so beautifully. And, uh, well, I think that that everyone will think of you when, well, when they hear how great thou art. It's been a great because... privilege. Uh, most people probably know, Diane, that it was written in Sweden uh -huh. in 1885 or 1886 by Carl Boberg. He was a preacher and also a senator betimes, you know. Uh -huh. And uh, he wrote these beautiful words in Swedish and employed one of the melodies of the day. And it got in around all over Europe and into Russia. And Mr. S. K. Hine, a Londoner, who's a wonderful linguist, uh, he uh, he went over into Russia in the early 40s and uh, heard this for the first time. Was so impressed with it. Mm -hmm. So we're indebted to him. Right. You will also hear outstanding instrumentalists such as Paul McRae, trumpet virtuoso. And listen to the music of the masters written for the glory of God, such as Felix Mendelssohn's Reformation Symphony.
the Psalms tell us, Oh, sing a new song unto the Lord, for he hath done marvelous things. Through the words of great hymns, anthems, oratorios, and cantatas, we can worship the Lord with many of the great choirs of our nation as they sing a new song unto the Lord. Chanting sounds of the American Boy Choir.
also hear the voices of great performers who are as much at home on the concert stage as in the sanctuary of a church. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Upon the mountain, my Lord spoke. Out of his mouth came fire and smoke. Jordan River, chill and cold. Chill the body, but not the soul. Oh, every time I feel the Spirit moving in my heart, I will pray. Oh, every time I feel the Spirit. the soul ain't but one train runs this track it runs to heaven and runs right back every time I feel the spirit moving in my heart I will pray every time I feel the spirit moving in my heart Bye. 
On festive occasions during the year, like Christmas, Easter, Thanksgiving, and the 4th of July, we'll bring to you specials combining all the forces of music, orchestras, soloists, organ, and choir, to help celebrate these happy seasons.
I hope you'll join us for this new and exciting television series featuring the greatest musicians of our day. Musicians who have found a special joy in music, that of glorifying God. Don't miss it. The Joy of Music, featuring the First Lady of the Organ, Diane Bish, has come to you from the sanctuary of Coral Ridge Church in Fort Lauderdale, Florida. Join us each Friday evening at 8.30 p.m. Eastern Standard Time, 5.30 p.m. Pacific Standard Time, as we offer praise to God through the joy of music. <laughs>